So you got your dream house picked out. Nice house up on top of a hill overlooking a nice valley. Got a creek down at the bottom of the hill. Beautiful view. What a wonderful place. Place for your kids to play out back. Not so fast. That dream house could be a nightmare. Let's talk about it in this video. There's a lot of issues with when you build a house up on a hill. And this is very common around here in Atlanta, and you're going to see this all up and down the East Coast when you get in to the west of the major cities. Builder comes in and he puts a house up. Let's make it something like this. Put in a walkout basement. And then he takes this dirt that's here and he pushes it on back here to give you somewhat of a backyard. All is good, right? But it's not. The problem is, is when you're going on the downhill slope of the hill, the soil that was on the top of the hill is washed down over the years down here. So what you've got in here along the downhill slope of the hill is some very, very soft soil. And the builder is putting his foundations here and you got foundations here. What happens, it gets worse because you got the creek down here you don't necessarily have to have a creek for it to be a problem, but the creek makes it a big problem because the creek, over the millions of years, has deposited alluvium all over here, and that's got all kinds of garbage in it. That's got little dead animals in it, and it's got trees in it, all sorts of junk, okay? So all this dirt that the builder has pushed down the hill, well, is going to be pushing against this. And then you're pushing down forces that are coming down and sort of a 45 degree angle putting pressure again on all this junk that's down here. What happens now is that your foundation is going to settle here. But this foundation is not. And that gives you a problem. That gives you a real big problem because now the house is starting to tilt and it doesn't want to tilt. And what the builder has probably done is he's probably put in a concrete subwall that goes something like this and has probably stepped on down. And that concrete subwall cracks right across here in a diagonal crack. And you get diagonal cracking in the foundation. And up above in your walls, you're going to start seeing diagonal cracks show up as this whole mess starts to go down. And in the most extreme case I saw of this, the house had problems where the plumbing actually pulled apart because the, this foundation was settling so bad, the soil was so soft here. So what do you do? This is where my worst nightmare comes in. I have this recurring nightmare that I bought a house and the house that I bought costs more money to fix the foundations than the house is worth. I can't sell the house because of all the damage to it. I can't fix it because the cost of the repair is more than I can borrow on the house. So I'm stuck in this house that's literally falling into the ground. Worst thing is, you can have this happen. So how do you fix this? Well, what you do is you put a pier down here. Here can be one of two types. One type is we simply drive pipe down until it reaches hard ground underneath here. And that's called a resistance pier. And the beauty of a resistance pier is 
we can use that to lift this part of the house back up and fix it. The other type of pier, which you're going to do if we've got a lighter house, like if you don't have a brick veneer, if it's maybe only one story, uh, and we can't get enough resistance, we can't get enough weight to drive this resistance pier down, is we use what's called a helical pier. And a helical pier has got augers on the end of it. And these augers here at the end drill down into the soil. And we drill down till either we reach a specific torque that we're looking for, which gives us that barrier to stop the settlement, or we come in contact with a hard ground underneath and it stops the pier from drilling. Either which way it works. Now, this kind of repair can cost thousands of dollars. This isn't the worst situation you can end up in. I'll cover that in a future video. The worst situation, in my opinion, is if you get a house on top of a trash bed. This kind of thing can be fixed. But it does cost quite a bit of money to fix it, depending upon how bad the damage is. So what you want to do, if you're buying a house that's on a hill, and especially if it's overlooking a creek, don't buy it without a home inspection. I don't think you should buy a house without a home inspection anyway. But spend a little bit extra money and have an engineer come out and take a look at it. And I mean a licensed professional engineer. And I know I'm pushing my services here, but this is one where you need to spend the money. You know, you're going to pay, pay another, I don't know, could be another 600 bucks to get an engineer to look at this, but it might save you paying five, ten, twenty thousand dollars in peers in the future. Or if you still want to buy the house, maybe you still want to buy the house, but you can negotiate down the price for what you have to pay for the repairs. So this is just something, this is a very common situation, and it's something you need to be aware of. And uh, if you have any questions, please write me an email or uh, give our company a call. And uh, thank you for watching the video. And if you like the video, please, please press like, of course, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.